Hey guys, this is Keith from Electrovolt. Today we are going to do a little product introduction for the EVC1225 lithium iron phosphate charger. When we're talking about lithium batteries, we want to make sure that we're using a specific charger for that chemistry. The myth in the industry is that these lithium batteries are a drop-in replacement for sealed lead acid, meaning we can use the same chargers and charging algorithm that you would use for a traditional legacy sealed lead acid battery. Technically, that couldn't be further from the truth. So if we want to maintain the maximum amount of uh, lifespan and we want to treat the battery properly, we need to use a specific charger. So again, this is the Electrovolt EVC1225. What those numbers mean is that this is a 12 volt charger. The Lion Core batteries from Electrovolt are all 12.8 volt batteries and the 25, that's the maximum amount of charge current that we can push at the battery, and that's 25 amps. So that's where we get the 1225. So let's uh, open her up, see what we have. When you open your charger up, first thing you're gonna see is your owner's manual. This is gonna be important just to go ahead and read through this. If you're familiar with these chargers, this is gonna be nothing that's new to you, but it's always worth to just kind of go through the manual and make sure that you uh, understand the charger prior to going out and using it. If you have any questions, hit us up on social media, go to electrovolt.com or give any of our technicians a call and they'd be more than happy to help you uh, walk through your process. So as we open it up, you're gonna see the main charger body here. You're going to see your IEC, this is your general power cord, same thing you'd find with a, uh, um, any type of a, a computer or piece of stereo equipment, things like that. Everyone should be pretty familiar uh, with how these things work. So we're gonna basically take our charge cord here. We'll unravel this guy. And this is gonna go ahead and get plugged into this side. Obviously only goes in one direction, so that should be pretty easy. And on this side, we've got these alligator clips that are gonna allow us to connect it to our battery of choice. So we talked a little bit about the EVC1225 and what that means. So again, we have to make sure that we match the charger to the proper battery that we're gonna charge. This charger, being a 25 amp charger, means that the output current going to the battery is 25 amps. When we talk about making sure that we use the proper charger, at 25 amps, we want to charge batteries that are have capacity larger than the number of amps we can push at it. So being that this is a 25 amp charger, that means that this would be suitable for batteries from 25 amp hours and up. So it may sound complicated, but it's really not that hard. So uh, we, we charge in what we call a C rate. So if we say one C, one C is gonna match the capacity of the battery, which is gonna be shown in amp hours, to the amps that it would take to charge that battery in one hour. So a one C charge rate, 25 amps is gonna be a 25 amp hour battery. It'll take 60 minutes to charge that battery from the bottom all the way to the top. If we use this charger for a bigger battery, let's say we use a 100 amp hour battery, much larger, it's gonna take four times as long. So instead of one hour, it's gonna take technically four hours because 25 amps into a 100 amp hour battery gives you four hours. So that's kind of how the math works on these. Again, it may seem complicated, but again, you can go online. We've got lots of educational information on the site or give us a call and we kind of help, help work through those uh, questions that you may have on that. Very simple to use. Basically, we plug it in. We're taking AC right out of the wall. So we're gonna take 110 uh, volt power out of your wall. We're changing the alternating current or AC into direct current or DC. And we're gonna be pushing out this side towards your battery again at 25 amps. These things have the algorithm for a lithium iron phosphate battery built into it. Uh, basically the difference between a sealed lead acid charger um, and a lithium charger is the amount of power that this is pushing at the battery is a little bit higher. Your typical charger for sealed lead acid is going to be pushing somewhere around 13.6 to 13.8 at the battery. Um, and it could be a variety of different amp rates, but we'll say it's similar to this one at 25 amps. A lithium charger, on the other hand, is going to push 14.4 volts 
at the battery. That is the proper charge, power, and voltage that that battery needs. When you talk about a lithium battery, we balance all the cells. If we don't use a proper charger, it's not going to allow the battery to hit the top of state of charge and balance out all the cells and maximize the lifespan of that battery and make sure that it can provide all the power uh, that lithium can, can do. So again, don't fall victim to the myth that you can use a traditional sealed lead acid charger with your batteries. You're not probably going to damage the batteries per se, but you're just not going to get the lifespan or the performance out of it. So again, just a quick rundown on the Electrovolt EVC 1225 lithium iron phosphate charger. Like I said, hit us up on social media, Go to electrovolt.com or give us a call if we can help you uh, in system design or any potential charging issues that you might have. We'd be more than happy to help. So thank you guys.